All right, guys, so today we're gonna to take a look at a very innovative pair of true wireless earbuds. And the pair we're gonna check out are the Airloop Snap. Now there's actually two different versions of these available. Uh, the base version comes in at $100, uh, and then the three-in-one version comes in at $130. And in fact, on their website right now, for some reason, there is still a holiday special where it is 30% off either one of these. So you can actually pick up the base version for $70, where you can pick up the three-in-one version for only a hundred bucks. And I'll go ahead and tell you right now, it is a very good price considering what you're getting. Uh, but we'll talk about what these are capable of. We'll talk about what you get inside the box and why I think it's worth the price on each one of these that they're asking. Now to start with, what is the Airloop Snap? Well, in the base version, it's basically a two-in-one device. So you're getting a pair of true wireless earbuds that also comes with an additional sport band accessory. Uh, so if you're out running or going to the gym and you don't wanna carry your case with you, you can take the earbuds out and just kinda of leave them hanging around your neck. Now that's the base version, where the three-in-one version, uh, which is the higher-end model, gives you both of those, but it also gives you the actual neck band that has an additional battery inside of it. Uh, so if you're going to be using these you know, all day, although I'm gonna tell you right now, the battery life on the earbuds themselves, if you're just gonna use them as a pair of true wireless earbuds, you're going to get 10 hours of battery life on the earbuds with 80 hours total using the case. So you already get insane battery life, uh, but if you do need that additional boost in battery life, the neck band that comes in the three-in-one model gives you an additional 12 hours. So on a single charge, if you're going to use the neck band that comes in the three-in-one model, you're actually gonna be able to get 22 hours of use before even needing to charge either the neck band or the earbuds themselves. And I think battery life wise, that obviously will get people through a whole day. It'll get people, you know, sitting at the airport, uh, the flight itself, if you're still going to be using them while you're walking about where you're going, you just don't have to worry about battery life. And that's very impressive on a pair like this. So I think it's very nice because there are some people that in some situations want to just use true wireless earbuds, but in other situations might want the neck band or the sport band if they're going to the gym. Uh, so this one pair can serve a lot of different purposes. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the technology that's in here. Uh, they do have Bluetooth 5.0. They have Aptex. AAC and SBC playback. And I can go ahead and tell you now, I didn't experience any kind of lag with movies or videos. Uh, and with gaming, there is a slight lag, but that seems to be common in pretty much every pair of true wireless earbuds. Now, as far as the IP rating, they are completely waterproof coming in at IPX7. So you can use these wherever. Uh, if you do happen to drop them in water, they're going to be okay. Now inside the box, they've included six sets of silicone ear tips, and then you also get three sets of the wing tips as well, because you can definitely tell that these are made for using out and about, and those wing tips do a very good job of keeping these in your ear. You can shake your head, move it all around, and they're not going to move. And as far as the charging cable they've included, they've included a USB-C cable. And speaking of the charging, this is where it is slightly disappointing. Uh, there is no fast charge feature on here and the case is not a Qi wireless charging case. And speaking of the case, the case is rather large on these. It kind of resembles the JVC design that we've seen before, where you kind of slide it out to be able to access the earbuds. Um, so it's a lot larger than some of the other cases. Like right here, you can see it next to the AirPods Pro case and see there is a huge difference. Now on the case, you can see that there is a flap that covers up the charging port. Right above that, you have four indicator lights so that you can kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. And there is an actual loop on here um, if you want to be able to, I guess, put it on a keychain, which this would be huge on a keychain. Uh, it's actually even huge in your pocket. So that is one thing I wish they kind of slimmed down the design a little bit, but do keep in mind with a case this large, you are getting 80 hours of battery life. So it may be worth that trade-off to you. 
Now moving over to looking at the earbuds, uh, the earbuds themselves actually have a little bit of bulk to them as well. So if you do have smaller ears, uh, you might have a problem with these fitting. They fit my ears perfectly fine. I didn't even have to switch to a different ear tip or a different ear wing, uh, but that is great that you do have those options right out of the box. Now as far as the controls, I love the control scheme on here. Now they actually have a physical button, um, it's located on the top and I'm happy to say that you have control over everything. So you have your play, your pause, skipping your tracks forward, going backwards, and even volume control all on the earbuds themselves. And another thing that these earbuds have is they also have the smart sensors. So if you take them out of your ear, it will automatically pause and if you put them back in, it just automatically resumes what you were listening to. Now, as far as you guys that like to use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then another area where I think people are gonna be pleased are the microphones. If you plan on using these for phone calls, um, it does a very good job of focusing in on your voice and kind of blocking out your surroundings. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test using the Airloop Snap. I think overall it does a really good job of picking up my voice I do notice a little bit of background noise, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with a crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. The sound on these are very rich. It's very full. You can tell that they did their best to pull out as much bass as they could, but also balance it out pretty nicely with an in-your-face treble. It just seems like everything is coming right at you. Uh, they didn't do anything to kind of hold back anything, and that's including the volume. Another area where I felt like they focused on was to be able to turn these up as loud as you want. Um, I didn't get any distortion, which is very impressive. So if you like a loud in-your-face sound, these are definitely capable of that. I even think they did a really good job with the mids uh, because I didn't have any issues with hearing male or female vocalists. Um, I was able to hear details of instruments really nicely, but I was also able to feel the thumping impact uh, even in the sub bass. It just picked up everything really nicely. So if you are somebody that does like a flatter sound signature, uh, that I don't really think these are capable of, and that's mainly because there's not an app to be able to EQ these. Uh, obviously, you can download third-party apps, but overall, this is a dynamic in-your-face earbud uh, that does a very good job of being able to tell where instruments are coming from. Now, as great as I think these are, I do have a couple of cons. Um, I do wish that the earbuds were a little bit smaller uh, because again, people with smaller ears, I don't know how well it's gonna work for them. And then my only other complaint is that the case is not a Qi wireless charging case and that there is no fast charge feature. Now, the fact that the earbuds have 10 hours of battery life and the case gives you 80 hours total, you're not gonna be charging these that often anyway, so it's not that big a deal. So I can go ahead and say right now, being able to pick these up at the price that they are on sale is an absolute steal, but even at their regular price, I could highly recommend these with no issues. Um, in fact, I would say the sound of these are a lot like the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros, which is a $150 earbud, and you don't get the additional options to be able to use these in different ways as you do the Airloop Snap. So I feel like this is an easy pair to recommend. I feel like you're getting a lot of value for your money. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Airloop Snap. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.